the year 2008 we are at when this movie first dropped i don't know what this is you don't even know what you're watching <laughs> i don't know what i'm watching oh, wow. the boy in the striped pajamas why, why is it striped why couldn't it be polka dots like what is there a meaning to the don't answer that don't ask. <laughs> i've heard that it's a sad movie i've heard that uh most humans cry watching this movie this may or may not be the first reaction that y'all see me shed tears with i've seen this movie it was when i was in school so it's been a minute hit a like and hit subscribe and y'all already know if you are a returning subscriber welcome, welcome back. back let's jump into this depressing sad heart grinching let's jump into the movie the only thing I know is the main character of this movie I've seen him before I've seen her too mm, I hope so she's in all the conjuring movies oh she is she is that's her <laughs> We're gonna move this up. Sorry if it's in the picture, y'all. But in previous reactions, people couldn't hear me. Oh. Or you, so. Interesting. I guess I have to speak up. Mom, what's going on? I'm celebrating. Celebrating? Mm, your father's been given a promotion. He's still going to be a soldier though, isn't he? Yes, my love. Yes. Moving? Where to? To the countryside. Hey, <laughs> Professor Lupin. This is the best house ever. Well, you never know. The house we're going to might be even better. Hmm? The thing is, Bruno, the thing about being a soldier... His name is Bruno? Jesus. We can't even talk about him. Mm. Intent. You're looking at him like, no, so who no. are you trying to convince? Me right. or you? <laughs> Do any of y'all go to parties that look like this? When you're just so, so exquisite. And everybody drinks their drink with a pinky up like that. <laughs> is he Hitler? I don't think he is. I think that there's... But this is around that time period. I don't think These are is. These are all questions, by the way, y'all. I'm not saying I that. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, I'm so proud of you, my boy. You used to adore all that dressing up. Uh, no, no, no. Does it still make you feel special, Ralph, dear? The uniform. And what it stands for. It's a party. Let's not spoil things. How long are we losing you for, my boy? Until the war is won, I would think. Yeah, no, I don't think he's Hitler himself, but... He's not. He don't got the mustache. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of gun goes like that? Boy! <laughs> Time to say goodbye. They're not just going away. They're like leaving, leaving. Correct? Yeah, they're moving. Yeah, I, I know the look when I see it. That's why. That's how I looked when I had to leave, man. I, I hate I hate leaving my friends and stuff. Like, I hated that as a kid. Care for children sick and poor. Grant them, Lord, thy blessing. Yes, sir. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if she was happy or concerned. She looked both. Just <laughs> walking all aggressive. <laughs> A little too much swing in your arms, bro. You two choose your rooms. I'll have Maria come and... Mm -hmm. Choose your room. She did not waste. No, she didn't. You're just like, oh, I'll pick the smaller one. What do you think of it, Maria? But it won't feel like home until we make it feel like home, will it? I like that. That's very accurate. Concentration camps. You can only see it from that room. Hmm. And there are some children there. I'm sorry. The farmers. They wear pajamas. 
is the word pajamas uh, a metaphor? They're not pajamas at all. Mm-mm. That's what he calls them because he doesn't really know what's going on. Yep. I want to go home. You are hungry. You have to at least give the place a chance. I promise you it won't be long before you... Why do the farmers wear pajamas? I can see them from my window. Well, you see, they're not really people at all. She looks so angry. Mm-hmm. Is it still of your new job? She about to whoop your ass when he leave, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, my darling. We'll find you some new friends, but they won't be the ones from the farm. Ralph, you promised. You said it was miles away. It is. How was I to know he could see it from the bedroom window? There was one of them in our kitchen. <laughs> How boring. Yeah, give that man a friend. Guys, go and join that membership. All you gotta do is click the description below, that very link below. We greatly appreciate it. Yes, go and join that membership, guys. How are you today? Bed up. Mm -hmm. You said the same thing every day for two whole weeks. <laughs> Nah, freak it, bro. Run. Run to the other side. Right. And what are you doing today? Same as yesterday. And what was that? Same as the day before. Mm -hmm. Except you went exploring. I've arranged a tutor for you both. A hair list. We'll be visiting twice a week. Oh. Dang. Way to keep him freaking contained. Who's this Jabberwocky? How are you this morning? Can I ask you a favor? Well, okay, dang. you bitch. You! Here, now. Yo, he giving me them Joffrey vibes, bro. You're right. Somebody get this man some wine with some poison in it. <laughs> oh, there he go. He saw the escape. Ah! What the freak, bro? Where's my mom? <sighs> She's out. All better. Acting like he never been cut or hurt in his whole life by anything. What's your name? Pavel. It could be worse than it looks. How would you know? You're not a doctor. Yes, I am. You couldn't have been much good then if you had to practice. This is the most he's had a conversation with anybody, isn't it? Bruno, Bruno, what happened to you? I made a swing, but I fell off it and cut my knee. But Pavel here carried me in and put a bandage on it. I was about to say, don't you freaking disrespect him. He helped your kid. Thank you. Hmm. He's not used to hearing that either. No, he's not. You ain't gonna hear that from the dad, though. I read newspapers whenever I can, and one of Father's men keeps me up to date on everything that's happening. Good. Who's gonna start an eight-year-old on a book like that? That would've been weird reading Lord of the Rings, Captain Underpants. And here we go. Going for the window. Mm, mm, mm. Eight-year-olds will be eight-year-olds. Yes, they will. They're curious. You know, I don't know what's on the other side. If I die, so what? That's okay. I still gotta watch Bridge of uh, the Terabithia You've too. You've never seen that either? No, mama. Dang. Oh my gosh. Hello. What are you doing? We're, we're building a new hut. I'm Bruno. Schmoll. Sorry? I'm Schmoll. I live in the house. Back there. Have you got any food on you? No. Are you hungry? Mm. How old are you? Eight. Me too. You being stuck over here on my own? Oh, you're over there, playing with friends all day. So innocent. I have to go back now. Really? <sighs> it was nice to meet you. you like, bud, don't go. Right. The only kid that I've seen since I've been here. He like, I'm going to go out there every single day. Mm -hmm. He took the whole thing. 
I feel like she has a kind heart. That's not creepy at all. Okay. She is from the Conjuring universe. It's the Conjuring right now. Who are your dolls? Down in the cellar. Dolls are for little girls. Hmm. Didn't expect that, did he? He like, okay. I'm just going into town for an hour. Do you want to come? Who said as soon as she pulls off? Right. I was just gonna say that the very second she pull off. He like, yeah, just look normal. Just look normal. Just look yeet! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you people wear pajamas all day? They're not pajamas. Well, those. Up. We have to. They took all of the clothes away. Who did? The soldiers. My dad's a soldier. But not the sort that takes people's clothes away for no reason. He thinks that. Mm. It's like Pavel. He used to be a doctor. He gave it all up to be with potatoes. Potatoes. He's so innocent. As every kid should be. Yeah, of course. Of course. What do you burn on those chimneys? I don't know. Well, whatever it is. It smells horrid. So I want to know if an hour has passed or she just came back early. Because he's still not there. He about to get whoop. Will you be here tomorrow? I'll try. Goodbye then. Little present, sweetheart. I look good as hell. What is that? Vanilla malt balls? Nope. <laughs> wow. Nice. He sure did make nice. it back Nice. He just did, pretty much. Oh, Grandma and Grandpa coming. Mm -hmm. Let me speak to her. Yes, she is. I can hear her. Is Grandma not coming? No. Did you smell it, Dad? What? That horrid smell from the chimneys. What is it? I think they just burn rubbish there sometimes. It's crazy how they could just throw everything just above his head like that. Because he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know what's happening, so... Gretel seems to have become so... They're being taught what all children are being taught at the moment. They mustn't get left behind. And I can tell that she doesn't. I'm telling you. she she does. She's not with all of this right now. Yeah. Her mindset's a little bit different. The Jew here means the entire Jewish race. There is such thing as a nice Jew, though, isn't there? I think, Bruno, if you ever found a nice Jew, you would be the best explorer in the world. you like... I'll take you up on that. His mom does not want him to be learning this stuff. Now I can see why a lot of people watch this in school. Yeah. I did not, surprisingly. So I don't know, maybe I just took that day off. Maybe I maybe I was sick. I don't know, but I've never seen this movie. So I don't know how all of y'all have seen this, and I haven't. <laughs> but, jeez. What are you doing with your satchel? Hairless gave us some books. I'm going out on the swing to read. I've just got... Adventure books. Ugh. Go on, off you go then. Be here, and I believe Lieutenant Cotler's. <laughs> That's dope, man. He like when you hang with me, you gonna eat, my boy. Right. You about to eat. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't throw it back. What? Why not? It's dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> Move. They smell even worse when they burn, don't they? What? Oh, she did not like that. Does she not know what's happening? She doesn't know just as much as the kid? Bro, this mother freaker is evil. Oh my gosh, bro. I was sworn to secrecy. From your own wife? Yes. You want this country to be... Strong. No, Ralph, no! No, not that! How can you... Because I'm a soldier. Okay. Soldiers fight wars. That isn't war! It's a part of it! It's a vital part of it! <laughs> the fatherland we all desire, all of us, you included, cannot be achieved without work no, such as I'm... this! She's disgusting. Uh, yes. Grandpa's here. It's not a good sign, man. When your wife feels that way about you, it might as well be close to over. That's awkward. Yo, what do y'all be eating? What is that? That was like the size of my freaking pinky and not even the whole pinky, like <laughs> only that. Little bites. They be like, ooh, this one single rice. 
Your mother really is sick. She's been talking about this visit for weeks. Maybe that's what's made her sick. Mm. Mm. The work your father is doing here, history in the making. When I was your age, history was my favorite subject by miles. We're not in touch, my father and I. He um, left the country some time ago. Where did he go? I believe it was Switzerland, I come down. What the hell is happening? I'm like, yo, will you shut the freak come up, bro? Ah! What's the matter with you tonight? He played Ares and Wonder Woman, and now I'm seeing him in this. He's really good at being a villain. Actor-wise, great. You fighting you! He was already rowling him up, and then something happened. But you deserved it. Oh my gosh. This movie gets me so tight. I can't. It's a camp. What's called a work camp. Because they're the best workers. They're not in there because they're good, silly. They're no good at anything. They're in there because they're evil. They're the enemy. The enemy? Do I think we're fighting? They're evil, Bruno. Evil, dangerous vermin. She is going through it. I know she is. I wonder how that feels, sir. Your boy looking at you like, I don't know who the hell you are. And your wife is like, I don't love you no more. <laughs> right. What are you doing here? They wanted some with tiny fingers. I didn't expect to see him there. Do you want some? How dare you talk to people in the house? How dare you? Have you been stealing food? He gave it to me. He's my friend. Bruno, I swear, if you don't say shit. Bruno, I swear, this is why we don't talk about you. I just walked in and he was helping himself. Aww. I've never seen him before in my life. When I come back, we'll have a little chat about what happens to rats who steal. What would have happened to him if he would have said, yes, he's my friend? Mm hmm. Hey, come on, bro. Eight-year-olds, man. I, I want to be upset, but at the same time, I understand. She's like, she's like the mother, too. I could tell. I could see it in her face. She doesn't like anything that's going on, either. That's a lot of cars pulling up right now. That's a lot of cars pulling up right now. I don't like it. At the end of their day at the iron factory, the wooden build or boot factory, Children in particular enjoy the pastries and cakes on offer. Other recreations include reading in the library. So this is like a comedy movie to them or some sort, some kind of parody, because they know that's not how it really is. Bravo. Excellent. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The level of disgust, I can't even put a number to it right now. She is so done with him. I don't see you coming back from that, my guy. Goodbye, little man. He reminds me of the um the guy from the strain. Same jawline, all the, like he looks just like him. The guy from the strain. You, it's been a while since we watched the strain. We got to get back into it. We're at least about an hour in this movie, and I still can't figure out where I've seen him. And there he goes. Oh. I don't understand. I saw a film about the camp. And they looked so nice. Greta and everyone was saying all these things. And that soldier's so scary. I thought you weren't friends anymore. Well, I'm really sorry for what I did. We are still friends, aren't we? Hmm. Where's Kurt these days? He's been moved to the front. Well, he was sent there because he failed to inform the authorities of his father's lack of loyalty to the party. Which was his duty, I might add. Which was his bad luck. His father, they've been bombed. What happened? Grandmother's dead. That's how you tell your... Bro. Well, fuck him in his life. <laughs> Freak you and your existence, my guy. Y'all judge me. I, I let the comments roll. I don't give a damn. Y'all watching my reaction. <laughs> and this is upsetting me. What is happening? This upsets a lot of people. I'm guessing this is what y'all wanted. Uh, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Now look how he's looking at him. He's like, bruh, I don't really know you like that. Y'all saw how happy he was when they said, oh, grandmother's coming? And then when grandfather showed up, he was just like minimal excited. Clearly, he loves his grandmother. And that's how you tell him his grandmother died? Yeah. As soon as you get the chance, take your son and bounce. That one there to that. Oh, I finally think I know what my emotion is for this movie so far. You got all of your, your hatred and all of your burning people and evilness just in this household. But then you have this to balance it out a little bit. This is why I don't know how to feel right now. To here. No, there. To here. No. Here. No. <laughs> they are cute. Mm. Is that the mom? Yep. She drunk as hell. No, <laughs> she no. drunk as hell. Nah, she drunk. She gotta be. Cause she hasn't smiled since. She's drunk. I see her changing at the end of this movie. Or by the end of this movie. She was like, okay, I see what this really is now. And I'm not for it anymore. No matter what she's been taught. Are you happy here? Yes. Very. I do miss home. I miss my friends. At the moment, your mother is finding it. She just feels right now you need to spend some time elsewhere. Would you like that? It's time for you to move away. Is everything all right? He went on a different work duty with some of the men and they haven't come back. You heard a little fly sound mm. too? <laughs> that yeah. was what to be like. <laughs> you can come on holiday to Berlin if you like. And everybody's getting on with each other again. I wish I could have helped you find your dad. I could dig under. I don't look like you. You could look like me, though. If you dressed like me and shaved your hair off. I'm not shaving my hair off. You could cover it. I'll bring an extra big sandwich. And don't forget the pajamas. Where's the climax? I'm ready. Oh, that looks good even right now. Mm -hmm. Bruno? Bruno? It's my last chance. Go on, then. I'm trying to hide the sandwich. I've done it a couple times. I was like, so you said I could go outside, right? Mm -hmm. I bet. <laughs> Sneaking against the wall. I thought you weren't coming. I'm sorry. It wasn't easy to get away. You forgot the pajamas. Nice. <laughs> That's wild. He's really about to do that. Did you bring the pajamas? Oh my god. Gosh, this is wild. How do I look? I'm glad he just said, we're just gonna say good. You look good. Nobody looks good in that. Like, he is not on the swing. Nope, he is not. This is supposed to be the last day. Y'all was supposed to just bounce. I know that's your homie, but oof. It's about to get wild. I know it is. <laughs> this music is so unsettling, though. This is not good. They're definitely building up really well though. Because my anxiety is like not that great right now. <laughs> yeah, take a good look around, buddy. Maybe I should go home. But what about Papa? Yeah, he's scared. He's spooked right now. Yeah. He wants to help. Yeah. I don't know how this is gonna go, man. I have like 20 different speculations in my brain. And no one's ever seen anything, so they don't know anything. They don't know where he's been going. Oh, never mind. Yup, she about to figure this out. I know y'all was going crazy in y'all chairs in school. <laughs> Bruh, Bruno's missing. If there was ever a poster for a movie about friendship, wow. 
Because he doesn't have to be going through any of this right now. It's alright. I think we're just waiting in here until the rain stops. Oh my god. What an eight year old. Oh, it's just a shower. A shower? It's about to get crazy. You gotta watch your feet. Her anxiety was already at 98. Right. That shit hit 100 right now. Oh, he's about to lose his shit. She doesn't deserve that. She doesn't deserve any of this. You never learned about this stuff in school? I, I did, but like, I mean, I like I, I said a concentration camp and stuff in the beginning yeah. of the reaction. So clearly I knew what it was, what it was. I'm just like, you know, learning about something and then going through it is not the same. Like yeah. some of these people go through that. History was definitely not my best class, by the way, y'all. I. Do you know what that was? Did they burn them? There's no freaking way. There's no freaking way. You better not show me fucking credits. I don't. I haven't seen it in so long. I don't remember. There's no way. You better give me something. Uh, even if that's what happens, you better give me something. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. What the hell? What did I say 15 minutes prior to all of this happening? All they had to do was he had to say, you know what, yeah, I want to go with you, Mom. It, it, it should have been an easy transition. He made a friend. He made a friend. And he died with that friend. Yep. They stripped these people butt naked and set everybody on fire. Sometimes I'm a slow learner. Sometimes I catch things a little bit late. And this was one of those times where I did that because I should have known because of what they said earlier in, in the movie. Oh, they smell even crazier when they're burning. Yeah. I, sh I should have already caught on to that. So, no, I didn't catch that at first. I mean, I knew it wasn't a shower. Of course not. Like, I, I already felt like that's... No. They, they were saying that to try to basically give them faith and, you know... What you gonna say? Yeah, we're all about to die, you know? You gonna let them die without hope? Like, come on. Of course you're gonna say something of, of that think, sort. I think that those are just people... Like them talking to each other? No, I know that. I'm oh, saying, okay. yeah, those people. I'm not talking about the, the boys at all. I'm not talking about the main character. No, I'm saying, like, not even the soldiers. They didn't care whether they knew or not. It was the. Like, Mama, I wasn't talking about the soldiers. Oh, okay, go ahead. I'm talking about the people, the okay. Jews, but the older people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that were the kind of just side care, like, they yeah. just were there. That one of those guys were saying, don't worry, it's just a shower. Yeah. He knew what that was i guarantee he did they've been or they look like they've been around for a long time it's nothing new so he knew it was about to go down but he just wanted to kind of that last minute you know i call it a kobe bryant situation rest in peace by the way i call it a kobe bryant situation i'm pretty sure he didn't go down in that helicopter with his daughter saying yeah this is gonna happen sorry you gotta hold them and you gotta you you gotta say something. You gotta give something. Whew, this was a... Uh, I did not cry. It was intense. But it was intense. And it didn't come out in tears, but it came out in anger. It was very intense. This was a very intense movie. Before I tackle like specific feelings about stuff, this was your second time watching it. How, how did you feel? Sad. I mean, it's a sad movie. I did enjoy watching it. It's just like a, it's a, it makes you more angry than sad because this is how the world used to be. Like, yeah. You really have to think about it, that like, so many people still, but so many people used to hate each other. They still do collide, but not as much, but it's just crazy how there was so much hatred in the world back in the day. So it really boggles my mind. Well, honestly, we can't even say it used to be worse than it because we don't, we don't oh, know. Yeah. We're here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like low key. I, that's why I don't really, I kind of just watch the movie. Like I'm one of those people. Ignorance is bliss, and I'm not an ignorant person, so 
if I don't have too much knowledge on something, I kind of just like stay in the rafters a little bit. I'm going to speak my feelings on it, but I at least I was honest to y'all and said up front, I'd, I never really knew too much about that kind of stuff. I've seen Diary of Anne Frank. I mean, I've tackled these things before, but you know, I was young and also being young, I told you I didn't really pay attention to a lot. Yeah. That's understandable. So there's going to be a lot of lostness, even in this reaction that y'all, I'm sure y'all have seen. I think this is a very good movie. I think there should have been more to the end. But I also think that how they ended it was good. Like, it's 50-50. It, it kind of had, like, the perfect ending with how it did. Like, just yeah. cut it short. But at the end of the day, there's so many questions. Like, what's the mom going through? What... What happened with mom and dad? Did they split up? Did yep. they are they together? They're gonna leave it to your Did brain. <laughs> the dad leave his post? To like what happened? So those are questions I do have because that could split a marriage up very quick. And there isn't any kind of sequel or anything, right? I don't believe so. Exactly. So it's just it's just gonna leave your brain like like you said, just yeah. thinking like, hey, what if this could Yeah. That's it. I grade this an A. I mean, it's a very good movie. It's very sad though. It was good though, and I, I this was my pick, um, and it was kind of a good history lesson to Brian. So. Yeah, I felt like more than anything, it was a good movie. Some good shots, some good cinematography, some good dialogue. Uh, I think it had really good acting. It has some, it has some top A actors in here. Chick from Conjuring. I don't know her name in real life. My guy Lupin, Professor Lupin. Um, from Harry Potter and the young boy the main character. I've seen him in somewhere What is it Hugo like what what is it who he is called Hugo, right? I've seen him somewhere. I've seen him somewhere too. I've seen him somewhere. I'm gonna throw an a minus on here I'm gonna throw an a minus on here uh, very close to a category. I mean technically it's in a category, that is a category. Yeah, category. I almost did a B plus so it was it was it was in the middle of B plus and a minus But yeah. since there's no middle I'm gonna throw it on an a minus. I liked it. I always said that uh Let's put Game of Thrones in there, for example. If it makes you that upset, if it triggers your emotions, if it... Y'all saw me, like, I'm, I'm trying to get better with my language. And I'm not the kind of person, like, I'm not going to use censorships and all of that on here. I feel like I don't have to curse all the time. But when I do, it's because of my raw emotion. And then it, that's probably what you're, you're watching this video for. You want to see our real reactions to something, and that's where that's coming from. Like, when you see anger and like, oh, my best example is the very last Hunger Games. I showcase so much Ooh. anger in that. <laughs> Speaking of Hunger Games. Yes, I know. They're coming out with another one. Huh. I know. I've already know that. Guys, they're coming out with another Hunger Games. Yeah. If you haven't already heard, or maybe I'm late. I'm probably late. I'm, pretty, I'm usually late. You're very this. late, yeah. I'm usually late to these things, but you know. Yeah, I knew this like before we even did Hunger Games, Mama. Yeah, that's been a, that's I'm been that late. Rumblings. Yeah. I'm that late. Yeah, you just saw the trailer. <laughs> no, I didn't see the trailer. You didn't see the trailer yet? No, I All just right, heard well, about it. All right, well, there we go. Yep. Um, let me know what you felt about this movie. I was focused, guys. Like, I promise you, I'm not bored. I'm not gonna categorize everyone. There's at least one person. I promise you guys, I'm not bored. I promise, I'm not. <laughs> it's a very, very intense movie. So I have an yeah. intense face. Yeah. I can't help it. It's just my face. So don't take it personal. Don't think I'm having a bad reaction or not enjoying this movie. I promise you this is my pick. This was my movie. I wanted to watch this with them. She really, she really liked this movie. She has been hounding me to watch this movie. Yeah, I like, I mean. So just like she said, to piggyback off of that, sometimes I, I understand like everybody we have the whole world watching like we don't know who's watching us yeah. there can be people from australia this and that. actually we do have a homie from australia shout out to tane by the way there's too many people and i understand that everybody's different but that's why we're speaking on it now if we're ever like really in tune with the movie and you notice we we're not talking as much it's because we're watching the movie and it's not because we're bored of the movie it, it really was an intense movie and y'all saw me trying to crack jokes and i mean i know i'm really good with the joke timing most of the time but this one i just i couldn't do it because you saw the anger and other things popping out too there's not really a good time to joke in this movie no like not it, really 
not really. There is, because like the the kids were having fun still. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was there was moments so. where I kind of could seep something through when I did, and I'm also that kind of person. Like I said, I use laughter and humor to kind of cover up my emotion. I'm one of those people. You're gonna see me get emotional sometimes. Sometimes I want to cry. Sometimes I look like I want to cry. Yeah, but I just feel like laughter is the best medicine in this world. I really do. I I truly believe that. I feel like good vibes and laughter you watching a movie this intense like it's already intense enough what what more do you want <laughs> you know but that was the boy in striped pajamas uh when this movie first started i actually thought he was the boy i thought that was him that's how much you can tell i didn't know anything about this movie that's i was like, i thought it was him finally finally got him we enjoyed this movie though she enjoyed it for the second time and i enjoyed it for the first if you have any suggestions anywhere close to this movie, or if it's a little bit off the rail but somewhat close to it, or any suggestion at all, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the movie. We hope you have a great day, though. Stay loved. And stay blessed.